Greetings, everyone. Well, it's closer look time again on the Multimedia Chronicles. Today, uh, I've got a big box set to show you, which is one that uh, I'd been wanting to pick up for quite some time. I do love me some old school mysteries. So today, we're going to look at Columbo, the complete series set on a closer look on the Multimedia Chronicles today. Welcome back. Ugh. That is a big set. <laughs> so Columbo ran from, if you count the, the entire run, it actually started with the original pilot movie in 1968 and then ran all the way through till 2003. But it didn't run continuously. There were some breaks in the middle there. Uh, from 1971 to 1978 it was a regular series as part of the nbc mystery movie of the week basically where every week they would have another mystery featuring uh usually a different detective or private detective or police detective some kind of detective solving mysteries and columbo was part of the regular rotation there for a good number of years uh, the original pilot movie a prescription for murder actually began its life as a stage play which also starred peter falk as lieutenant colombo and um so the the pilot movie was essentially an adaptation of the stage play so if you watch it you'll find it it does have kind of a play vibe to it there's not a lot of locations in it and so forth but um but just wonderful wonderful acting wonderful dialogue and just a really good uh meaty mystery story um and then in 1989, so there was a bit of a break in the middle there. In 1989, it moved to ABC, where it was part of the ABC Mystery Movie of the Week and uh, was in the regular rotation there for a while. And for the last few years, it was part of Studios USA. I'm not familiar with that one. But anyway, it did, they did the last few uh, post-regular series TV movies with them. And then uh, they did the last one in 2003. And Peter Falk sadly passed away a few years later. But uh, basically, Columbo was him. <laughs> I mean, he just did did that as pretty much the main bulk of his career, the character that he always came back to play and was always a joy to watch. Now, the format of Columbo is a little bit different from your standard whodunit. Um, rather than the story being about the viewer and the detective trying to figure out who the murderer is and how they did it and such. We actually know right from the opening uh, scenes of the movie where uh, we actually see the killer planning it out and executing the murder and everything. And then it becomes a matter of figuring out what the killer forgot, what they missed, how they messed up in some way and didn't realize it. It appears, for all intents and purposes, to be the perfect crime almost every time. I mean, you see how meticulously they plan everything out. It's like, wow, they really thought things through on this one. So how's Columbo going to crack this? Um, so rather than being referred to as a whodunit, it's referred to as a how catch em. <laughs> how are they going to catch em? So that's, uh, that's essentially the format. Now, also, the, the regular series was done as movies, TV movies. So anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours in length, about 73 minutes without commercials for the 90-minute ones and about 90 minutes without commercials for the two-hour ones. So as such, over its rather lengthy, sporadic run, there's only 69 episodes. But that's 69 movie-length episodes. So you can, you can find yourself blowing through a season pretty quick because... Uh, you know, once you start one, you don't want to stop until it's done. But uh, it's just, just great, great stuff. I found this on sale on Black Friday. It was like 57 bucks, which is about $100 less than what the set usually goes for. So I thought, you know what? What the heck? I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to grab it. I had a little extra money around Black Friday. And that is really loud beeping out there. I don't know if you can hear that. I used to have the first few season sets, just the individual season sets that Universal released, but this was back in the day when they uh, had a, a lot of their season sets on uh, double-sided dual-layer flipper discs that tended to often have playback problems. That is not an issue with this complete series set. Uh, first off, the sets are in regular slim cases rather than the larger packaging of the original season sets. 
And second off, they have all been reauthored to single-sided dual-layer discs. So no playback problems there that I've encountered so far. So let's head on down to the black box and get a closer look at Columbo, the complete series. Okay, this is one I've wanted to get my hands on for a very long time. I do love me some Columbo, as you know. So this is a complete series DVD set. And as you can see, it contains all seven seasons of the original um, movie mystery run and all of the post-regular series TV movies from uh, what was it, 1989 up to 2003. So it was quite a run. So it basically ran from, if you include the pilot, the pilot was in 1968. So it ran from 1968 to 2003. The regular series started in 1971. But um, uh, I don't know why it was so long between the pilot movie and the series. But hey, we can't really complain because we got all of this over the course of the next, you know, couple of decades. So that's pretty impressive. Alrighty, so um, just take a look at the various sides here. So lots of pictures of the lieutenant himself. Various points in his illustrious mystery-solving career. And on the top, there we go. And how about on the bottom? Do have anything on the bottom? A few things on the bottom. Oh, it actually lists the bonus features on the bottom. That's kind of interesting. What does it list here? It says, America's Top Sleuths, a countdown of the top sleuths in television and film. And three bonus episodes from the TV spinoff, Mrs. Columbo. I'm actually really surprised that we haven't got a complete series set of Mrs. Columbo yet. Like, come on. Come on, Universal. Get on that. It'll be like one set. All right. So let's, uh, so this is basically just a ginormous box, as you can tell, with the uh, individual season sets inside. So let's take a look at each set. Now, as is often the case with Universal releases, a lot of the original sets of this, uh, some of which I had, uh, were actually double-sided dual-layer flipper discs. For the complete series set, however, they are all single-sided. So they've all been reauthored. And actually, all the current versions of the individual season sets are single-sided discs now as well. Now, since Columbo was basically movies, you essentially have two movies per disc, typically. Now, they were anywhere between 70 and 90 minutes without commercials. And there you go. So yeah, so two movies per disc. So I mean, you can actually blow through a season pretty quick when you consider that each each episode is like a, a movie. And uh, you just sit down and watch a disc, basically. And there's the, the spine there for a season. And there's the man himself. So there you go. So that is everything from season one. And if we carry on here, we have season two. There we go. Very nice. And, you know, nice nice different color for each season just to kind of differentiate them from each other. Not much in the way of disc art, of course. But uh, and you get all the episode listings on the inside of the artwork. And all clear cases, which is quite nice. All right, then carrying on. Season 3. I can't remember how many seasons I originally had in the individual season set form. But, uh, yeah. They were also uh, larger sets. They were kind of like the uh, the more... I can't remember if they were digipacks in a box, but it was like a box. Uh-oh. Falling off the hub here. Let me just fix that. There we go. Um, or if it was keep cases in a box. I honestly don't remember. It's been so long since I've I owned those. Oh, and here we go. We have a bonus episode from Mrs. Columbo on this one. And there you go. Very nice, very nice. Now, I should mention, uh, overseas, there was actually a Blu-ray set released of Columbo. And um, just after we finish taking a look here, I'll, I'll give you a quick peek at it. So there you go. So we have orange for season four. And then if we pop this out, we actually have a picture of Columbo in there. And, uh, yeah, and then we have another episode of Mrs. Columbo as a bonus. Would have been nice if they'd kind of done that for all the subsequent sets, and then maybe over the course of them we would have had almost the whole series. So I'll give you a quick look here. This is the Blu-ray set. Uh, it was released over in, I guess, Region B land. 
And uh, you can still find it online. I believe it is actually out of print now. But you can still find it if you feel like dropping about three or $400 on it. Uh, then it can be yours. Yeah. So, hmm. Three, four hundred dollars for the Blu-ray set, or fifty-seven bucks for the complete series DVD set. Yeah, I kind of decided. You know what? I'm just gonna go with the DVD set for now, and then if uh, we get a domestic release of the Blu-ray set, then I will upgrade, and then I'll give the DVD set away to somebody as a gift. And I'm sure they will appreciate it, because who wouldn't love a big pile of Columbo as a gift? And we got another Mrs. Columbo episode on this one, season five set here. There we go. I should mention also, this series was notable for uh, launching some careers. Not the least of which was uh, a guy you may have heard of. Little known uh, indie director by the name of Steven Spielberg. Yeah. His uh, actual first directing, like professional director jobs, were doing episodes of Columbo. Um, so if you go back to, I think it's in season one actually. I don't remember the specific story off the top of my head. I'd have to look it up. But, uh, but if you go back to season one, you'll see directed by Steven Spielberg appear on a few episodes there. So it's pretty cool. So if you've ever wondered, is that the Steven Spielberg? The simple answer to that question is yes. It most definitely is. <laughs> and then it was around the, or I guess around the time he was, he was doing that stuff that he did his first feature film, which of course was Duel, which is fantastic. If you've never seen it. Um, another notable uh, recurring person to work on the show, who I guess was, was also a huge fan of it, was uh, Patrick McGowan. Yeah, the prisoner, or, you know, the secret agent from Secret Agent. He co-starred in and directed several episodes of the series, and uh, he, he really liked it a lot and often participated in it. So that was it. So no uh, no bonuses on the season six and seven discs. Did I show you the spine of season five? That's season five. And then season four and season three. Pretty sure I showed you all the rest. All right, so there we go. So that is it for the regular series. And then in 1989, Columbo came back in... Uh, you know, uh, an irregular series of TV movies. So this is the first batch of them, covering 1989 to 1990. He actually did a whole bunch just in those two years. It was like a big return where he did like a whole stack of them. It was essentially another season. You know, you might as well call this season eight. You know, it's great stuff. And bonus feature, uh, this is where we have America's Top Sleuths. So just kind of a countdown of all the various famous television detectives from over the years. I'm guessing specifically the ones that Universal Studios owns the rights to. And, uh, yeah. So, again, still same format. Two movies per disc. And there you go. Well, I guess disc three has one movie and then the America's Top Sleuths special. I don't know if that's a feature-length special or if it's just like an hour or what. But, um, very cool. And then back to the rest of the season there. And that's it for bonus materials. There's really not a lot in the way of bonus materials on these discs. But uh, but that's okay. The main thing is to have the show in lovely quality, of course, right? And I showed you the spine. Yeah, there you go. All right. And then finally, last but most certainly not least, covering 1991 to 2003. Yeah, you can see that the movies became a little less frequent uh, during the, the latter decade and a bit there. Uh, so we have the last batch of movies. The other thing that's really cool about this is because the series spanned so many decades is seeing how just sort of the technology of day-to-day -day life changes. <laughs> you know, you see the emergence of cell phones and uh, I remember one episode where Columbo is marveling at a fax machine. It's like, wait a minute, you put the picture in here and then it comes out on the other end, you know, the other end of the phone line. That's just amazing. But, uh, yeah, that was a terrible impression. But anyway, uh, <laughs> and there's a lot of little instances like that, like all this new technology coming out and Columbo just marveling at it. Um, the other thing, of course, is all the guest stars. I mean, you see a lot of familiar faces of people who weren't necessarily famous yet, but became famous later. 
So you get to see sort of the some of the early moments of their career as they guest starred in a Columbo episode. So how cool is that? All right, so we're going to put all these back in here one by one. You get to see the set build itself. There we go. Two and one. Ugh, and there you go. Columbo, the complete series from Universal Studios. So come on, Universal. Give Mill Creek the rights to the Blu-ray set so we can get it on Blu-ray. We want, we want our high-def Columbo. Come on, make it happen. In the meantime, you can find this wonderful DVD set fairly cheap these days. So enjoy. And there you go. So if you enjoy a good mystery like I do, you can't go wrong with one of the all-time greats, Columbo. So uh, yeah, so check it out if you get a chance. If you haven't seen it before, uh, you're in for a treat. It's, it's a lot of fun. Alrighty, that is it for this week's Closer Look. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you again next time. So big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. And until next time, sayonara.